Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty big data mines to go over for Pokemon Home. All of the sprites for Generation 9 have been leaked now, so we're going to be going over all of those today and also a few more rumors and stuff for the Generation 9 DLC. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about today. If you're excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off these are all of the updated generation 9 sprites for pokemon now of course not every single pokemon is in pokemon scarlet and violet but they all have an updated sprite so this is taken from pokemon home the most recent data mine for pokemon home um, from the most recent update and again this is how I think Pokemon Home is going to look going forward. I think this update that we're getting for Pokemon Home, which is going to include connectivity between Scarlet and Violet and Pokemon Home, is going to have a massive update, just basically changing all of the sprites to these. So, again, I'm not going to spend ages going through them all, but uh, these are what they all look like, even though they're not in the game. Like Bulbasaur, for example, is not in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it still has Generation 9 sprites. That doesn't mean that Bulbasaur is going to be in the game. These sprites are just going to be on Pokemon Home. So all of these are what Pokemon are going to look like in Pokemon Home. It's just obviously the same as what they look like in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I know that Mega Evolutions and all the legendaries and ha like have new sprites, but again, that doesn't confirm that they are back in the game. So yeah, we've got the Bulbasaur line here. Uh, we've got Charmander, obviously we've seen that. I really like the Squirtle one. The Squirtle one looks really, really good. Uh, Caterpie, obviously. Weedle there with Beedrill. I really like the Beedrill one as well. We've got the Pidgey line here with Mega Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeot should I say. Rattata there, I really like that sprite. Uh, we've got Sparrow, Ekans, Arbox looks really cool. I really like these Generation 9 sprites, so they look really, really good. Uh, Diglett line there, Venomoth. I'll just go like like that, like a zigzag kind of thing. A uh, little Paris as well. I mean, I'm never going to look at Paris the same after Legends of Arceus. No way. No way. Jose, do not like Paris anymore. Uh, and then we've got the Oddish line, Zubat, Jigglypuff, uh, the Nine Tails line, which of course isn't in Scarlet and Violet, and the Nidoran male, Nidoran uh, female. They're both obviously got new sprites. The whole Sand Slash line, really like the Sand Slash one. All the different hat of, uh, Pikachus. Uh, Meowth, obviously, we've got. Psyduck, we've got. Mankey, we've got. Uh, this is what Hisui and Arcanine and Growlithe are going to look like, which are, of course, going to be in Pokemon Home Connectivity. Uh, the Poliwag line, the Abra line. Abra looks really good. I cannot believe that Abra is not in Scarlet and Violet. It has to be in the Home Connect, in the DLC, surely. Got the Machop line there. Bellsprout. Uh, Geodude line there. Tentacool. Uh, we've got Ponytar as well. Execute and Executor. These are the Voltorb sprites. Uh, Krabby, Hypno, Drowsy. Uh, Gengar, we've already seen Cloyster Shell, though. We've seen a lot of these because obviously they're in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There's Far Fetched. Uh, we've got the Slowbro ones as well. They seem to have changed Slowbro Shell to just green now, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think it looks too good at all. Uh, and then we've got Cubone as well. Look at the good Cube. Ah, I love Cubone, man. Look at Cubone. Uh, and then we've got Rhyon, Rhydon. Again, I'm just going to skim through these. These Mega Sprites look really good as well, though. But of course, there's Mega Evolutions in pokemon home and everything so that's why they need sprites that's why they need updated sprites uh, i've got mega pincer there i've got all the different taurus forms looking really good mega gyarados lapras who of course somehow isn't in scarlet and violet and then we're moving on to johto here we've got the starters here again cynical is going to be in scarlet and violet i love the cynical sprite really cool uh chikorita there mew mew too of course in the games uh, and then the galarian birds as well also going to be in the game snorlax not in the game though but obviously should be in the dlc some more sprites there more sprites there eevee stuff Going into more Johto here, again, Ledian, Ledibur, the Noctowl line, Spinarak, Chinchou, uh, all the babies and stuff, Togepi and Togetic, uh, which are, again, crazy. Uh, we've got Velocim there, Meryl, all the unknowns below as well, um, all the different kind of letters of the alphabet, they're all here, Wobbuffet, uh, Pineco, uh, Smirgle is there, Porygons, again, the Houndour line, the Mantine line. Uh, well, I say the Mantine line doesn't evolve. Uh, well, actually, it does. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Swinub, Makargo, Teddy Ursa, Sneasel, uh, Heracross. Again, all the Mega Evolutions is what they're all going to look like in Pokemon Home. This is a big data mine that's obviously gone uh, live over the course of like last night or something. More legendaries here. Moving on to Gen 3 uh, with the Torchic. A little bit of Torchic. Oh, my, I love Torchics. And Mudkips as well. Again, I'm, I just want to reiterate that this does not mean that these are going to be in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. These are just what they're going to look like on Pokemon Home. Um, again, you gotta get the idea. I don't need to spend like even longer going over them all, but you know, this is all over Twitter and stuff if you want to like um, see them all. But uh, yeah, this is what they're all going to look like in Pokemon Home. Again, we've already looked at Gen 8 and stuff, so I don't really need to go over those. But um, yeah, they have all been leaked now. Um, I was wondering why we hadn't had like a new data mine from um, Pokemon Home, but uh, we now have it. So yeah, really, really cool. We also have this, who is the original poster of this data mine, saying this should explain the leaked icons in the VGC streams and Mega's 
are in since internally they're alternate forms unlike g max this does not confirm dlc sadly so basically um when we had that vgc stream tournament and they accidentally revealed a couple of pokemon um as like a, a team thing i think we had uh, who did we have we had uh, i think kabuto was there potentially uh, i think we had it was either like volby or Illumise, something like that there's basically a few pokemon that we that we had on the list and people were like oh my god these this is this means they're back in pokemon scarlet and violet i think that's less likely now i think that's just simply because that's what they're going to look like in pokemon home so um yeah that doesn't confirm that those ones that were i guess leaked means that they're in the, they could be but it's very unlikely uh moving on let's talk about what riddler Koo was kind of posting with these because i don't know if riddler Koo posted these just because he got them early before the data mine or he actually posted them in a way that it was going to be a riddle but either way let's see what soul silver out here say uh, says so spoiler theory just my first impressions on this i'll have to dig deeper later on the first thing is no this isn't saying that megas primals ultra beasts or even ultranet crosma are coming back that's probably just playing with you part of this second huge thing to notice is ku's name change today ku's fashionable hat my number one theory is that these are all Pokemon or proxies for other more common Pokemon. Maybe their types or just how they look. They will all get a fashionable hat in the DLC. It could also go into detail about how there's a lot of talk about how there's rare hats in the DLC. Um, I think Koo was talking about it a while ago. And some could even give you like dual Terra type. So maybe there's like certain hats that give you like a fire water type or a fire dark type or something. And maybe they are more fashionable or something. And that's why he's changed his name. Uh, he then goes on to say, I just had an uh, epiphany. This could mean that normal Floet could also get a fashionable hat that may make it almost like AZ's Floet. We always think new paradoxes, but we could get other things instead. I don't know. This just makes so much more sense to me. He then goes on to say, honestly though, there seems to be an endless amount of ways this could go. The next big theory I like is that all of these Pokemon are pointing to the third legendary. Kayla Capsules especially great here. Or maybe that the Ru uh, Ruinous legendaries get forms or that each Pokemon... Um, dude, the show more thing now with Twitter is crazy. It's so annoying. Uh, each of the shared uh, separately means something new entirely or that they are hints for new Pokemon. And that's what this clear connection to Fire and Dragon could be. And we went over this in yesterday's video, I do believe, about uh, Kayla's idea for the third legendary. Backtracking just a bit, I want to focus on it being related to the third legendary. There's one more huge thing about this riddle, and that is that these new Scarlet and Violet sprites for Megas and Primals, etc. have never been released. Maybe Koo posted the first tweet to show them off and playing with us, but maybe the tweets after he said that are hints to the third legendary. So Reshiram, Nihilego, and Ultranet Krosma. Maybe it's a fire dragon from a different dimension that has a godly form change. He also says last but not least when it comes to Necrozma. So maybe it's more important, like maybe it's a form change, change affects more than just itself i wouldn't be surprised to see a, a form change for the legendary like we have seen it kind of on top of the kind of spherical thing so maybe that's one form uh, like that could be like its dormant form or something and then it has like an attacking form or something like that I'm sure more info will develop over time uh, all of this could be wrong and it could be much simpler and and uh, all redundant and i'm thinking it usually is but i hope this recap will get people thinking so that it can come together as a community and figure it out Attaching this here too so that all my theories can be a one big thread. Ultra Krozma representing the Scarlet and Violet Third Legendary getting a form change fits with Kayla's theory. Just have to figure out how Reshiram and Nihilig uh, Nihilego fit. Um, now it could be the same riddle twice. Q likes to do that. Oh, I forget to tag the boys too. Uh, and then also, well, here's first mystery solved in spite of the big mystery. Honestly, what are the chances Q's post today weren't riddles, but he was the first to actually leak and share these new sprites found in a home data mine? I may have just wasted my whole day breaking these tweets down, but there's still some other nuggets in these breakdowns, if you know what I mean. I don't think that's the case. I think that he very well, I, I think he specifically put those sprites for a reason. I think that's what he usually does. I think... If he was going to leak the whole kind of thing, I think he would have just done a few other things as well. But yeah, I think the way that he posted them is a little bit more... Um, there's there's more that meets the eye with it and stuff. Uh, and of course, Ash Greninja also has a sprite as well. So again, that's because it's obviously in Pokemon Home. We also have Lutu here saying Mega Slowbro's icon... Oh, actually, it's just what I spoke about. Matches the home model and Dream World art, which now means they have permanently uh, canonized it looking puke green. So again, I don't know why they changed the, the, the color... But um, it's it's not great at all. And again, just going over some other Pokemon and stuff. Uh, and then we have um, Cerebi as well talking about the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet anime. We actually got a small snippet. Like it's not, it wasn't even like a trailer or anything. It was just like new artwork and stuff like that. Um, Cerebi update: the next series of the Pokemon anime will begin airing on April the fourteenth, two thousand and twenty-three in Japan. So obviously we have the Ash series, like the last few episodes. 
Really good episode today, by the way, because we had Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charizard back in the swing of things. It was, I don't know, it was a really good nostalgia kind of episode today. But yeah, the new series starts on the 14th of April. And then as well as that, we also have some more kind of artwork and stuff. This was tweeted out by Poke Experto. Uh, just different kind of like facial expressions and stuff like that of the main character, Rico. And then also finishing things off, I completely forgot to mention this, but uh, the new, well, I say the new, the Greninja event is back up and running this weekend. So Cerebi update, the Pokemon on Scarlet and Violet Mighty Greninja Terror Raid Battle event has begun its second run. Runs until February the 12th at 2359 UTC. And of course, the good thing about this is that Sunday we will find out the next seven star raid. Um, no idea what it's going to be. It could do fire, fire, water, water, grass, grass, or it could be just fire. And then they did Cinderace for Year of the Rabbit and now they're doing water and grass. Personally, I think it's going to be a flying type Terra Decidueye. That's what my that's what my uh, that's what my guess is. Uh, I think it's gonna be a flying type Decidueye uh, with obviously like ghost moves and stuff like that. I think it'll be a really cool one, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But I think that I, I just got an inkling that it's gonna be that. That's my guess. That's what I'm betting on. Um, or it could just be another water type, and like I said, it could do fire, fire, water, water, grass, grass. Of course, there's not gonna be too many seven star raids of new Pokemon um coming out because obviously i mean they'll still do they'll still do seven star raids but once home connectivity is out you're gonna be able to transfer all of these pokemon into the game legitimately which obviously you can't do at the moment um so yeah gonna be really cool to see what the next seven star raid is i'm saying flying type decidueye but either way that is gonna be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below and let's try and hit 500 likes what are your thoughts on all the sprites which is your favorite sprite as well again this is all over twitter and stuff um i, I really like the squirtle one i think squirtle generally might be one of my favorite ones it looks really really good up here big fan of it i don't know it just looks really really cute anyway though that's everything from me subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell for daily pokemon content have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace